ago, we decided to buy this suit and we always wanted to turn it into something we can use for camping. So in this video, we'll show you what we've done from start to finish. So keep on watching! So the first thing that we did was to remove the back seat to give us more space for our stuff. The next, we decided for which design we'd like to make to give us an easy access for moving things in and out of the youth. We made our measurements, cut out our designs, and put them together. And there she is, complaining already. We built a small storage space underneath and three compartments on top which we'll show you in this video. We have our drinking water of course and a bucket where we keep our charcoal for a barbecue. Then right next to them too is the big compartment for food supplies such as noodles, rice, oil, eggs and other canned goods. Underneath is where we store our extra stuff such as butane, fishing gear and whatever else we can fit in. And on the other side is our esky which keeps our food fresh and cold for a few days. And underneath you'll see is where we keep our foldable barbecue stand, camping chairs and foldable buckets. So now that we've done the passenger seat of the car, now let's go and check out the back. So now we're going to show you how we've transformed the back part of the U from being empty and plain up to this amazing setup. Keep on watching! So we made cute size curtains to fit nicely on the back windows. Then we decided to create a small side storage where we can put some stuff in. And this here will be for our water storage. So let's take a close look of the inside. This here is our bed frame that sits on top of the rear wheel. And here is what it looks like underneath. We have the first roller on the left side, which will hold our cooking pots, clothes, and whatever else we can fit in. And here's our second drawer. This will be our kitchen that you'll see later on in this video. Here's a quick look of our two drawers and then we cut up wood that will be on top of the bed frame that slides off to extend our feet. Next up is our bed mattress that we cut into two pieces to extend the bed. So this is how we set up our camping truck. So now let's go camping! see that we are rolling out our awning which is about 2.5 meters in length and about 3 meters wide. So on the right draw we made it an extendable one so we can access our camp stove freely and give us a lot more space when we want it to cool. So to give our extended 
towards a bit of support, we ended up using two of our old camera tripods that we don't use anymore. Then here, we made our own draw for our calories. We decided that we'll make an easy access for salt and pepper, some sauce and some spices. Then we bought this collapsible sink and a rechargeable water pump. So that pump is connected to this container that gives us the supply that we need without having to pull the container in and out. So this is the whole look of our mini kitchen. And on the drawer on the left side is where we keep our cooking pots, chopping board, and where we keep our extra clothes as well. And some of you may be wondering how we will close the back part of the yurt if we fully extend the bed. Well, we found this great canopy tent that is super easy to set up. Here is what it looks like on the inside. We decorated it with a clock, some fake plants, fairy lights, and of course our photos. So there you have it! That's how we've turned our simple youth into an amazing camping setup. We hope you liked our video. See you next time! Bye for now!